Ellen and welcome to Mentally Detoured. The topic of this video is nature and nurture and how they impact illness in general and mental illness in particular. Nature is basically our biological construct, our DNA. What is it that we have within us that either causes us to have an illness, makes us likely to have one, or that we may have one if there's a triggering event. Genetic testing is more and more widely used and it is used effectively in terms of diagnosing physical illnesses. Look at work that's done for breast cancer and the BRAC1 gene. Once tested, individuals having that gene can make a decision about what prophylactic measures they can or may take to avoid the high likelihood of having breast or ovarian cancer. Similarly, there is genetic testing that is done for babies in utero to determine if they are susceptible or are going to manifest physical illness and is done so that mothers may undergo treatments even while a baby is in her womb in order to, in to attempt to address those medical concerns at the earliest possible day. For mental illness, while there are genetic elements in play, we are currently not at a point where one can use genetic testing in order to make a determination whether one has a mental illness and exactly what that mental illness might be. Nurture, on the other hand, is not a genetic predisposition. It is not your DNA. Nurture deals with the environment in which a person lives, whether that's the physical environment in terms of their home, in terms of their nutrition, or the social environment in terms of their family structure, the relationships within that family, and the relationships with other people. Nurture is a complex interplay of outside factors, and nurture and nature are relevant to mental illness because they should be thought of mostly as working together. Perhaps your genetic destiny or your genetic code may make you predisposed to having a mental illness, but genetics isn't destiny. In many instances that we know of, there is some sort of triggering event from your nurture side, your social environment, that is needed to make a mental illness manifest. Now, the social side may be substance abuse, it may be trauma, it may be a difficult family environment, but it works together with your genetics to perhaps make you more susceptible to mental illness than individuals that either did not have a predisposition or did, but did not experience the social anxiety or trauma that one might face in terms of their nurture. Nature and nurture are part and parcel of every one of us, and they have different effects on us depending on the situation that we are in in terms of our genetics, as well as our ability to have resilience and have a robust response to challenges that come at us. Until next time.